Dear learners, I welcome all of you to NIA studio. Uh, in this lesson, we will discuss about Indian society, tribal, rural and urban. And uh, as you know, in Indian society, uh, we have multiple culture, we have multiple communities and there are also many rituals and festivals celebrated in India. So, when you talk about Indian society, it is not only tribal society, it is also rural, rural society and also urban society. We have multiple communities who live here and they have, they celebrate their own culture, traditions, rituals. And if you look at the challenges of Indian society, that is also very different from other uh, society where you will find there are issues and challenges faced by tribals, also there are challenges faced by rural communities and also urban communities and even their composition is also different from each other. The kind of geographical habitation that you will see in the tribal areas is different in rural areas and also in the urban areas. So, in this lesson we will discuss about what are the characteristics of tribal society, what are the characteristics of rural society, there are challenges and also about urban society, we will discuss these one by one. Let us discuss what is tribal society and who are tribes. So, tribes can be defined as a community living in a isolated or a relatively isolated communities having cultural autonomy with a demarcated territory having its own traditional religion, deities, semiotic system, cosmology, rituals, ceremonies and belief system. So, when we are talking about the tribal society from here you will be able to understand how they are different from other rural society or urban society. So, if we will take these characteristics one by one, first is they have the well demarcated geographical territory. If we will talk about the tribal society, they have, they have their own demarcation of territory. Like suppose you will go to the uh, study uh, lecture society in northeast, you will find they have their own uh, geographical territory. Similarly, if we will talk about the Kandhas of Odisha, they have their own uh, geographical territory. So, the geographical territory is different from the rural areas. The habitation, when you when go to that habitation, you will find that in a particular area, they have their own habitation and the other tribes, they have also their own habitation. So, they have a old demarcated geographical territory. Similarly, most of the tribes, they live in forest and hilly areas, whether you go to northeast or you go to the uh, Odisha or Bihar, you will find that most of the tribes live in forest and hilly areas. Although due to modernity, many uh, tribal communities, they have their children, they have come to the fold of modern education system, modern um, economy. So, um, some of them, those who are getting educated and they are uh, getting occupation, so they are, they can also be the found in the urban society. But if you talk about the tribal society, their, pet, their peculiar characteristics, they live in forest and hilly areas. Similarly, if you talk about the territory, they are uh, relatively isolated territory than that of urban society. They live in isolation among their own tribal communities than and similarly, they have their own culture, folklore and cosmology like they have their own dress pattern, they have their own um, uh, dance pattern, they have their own music system and even their belief system is also different from each other whether even within tribal society you will find there are a lot of diversities. Suppose if you will see the tribal society those who are in the um, uh, northeastern, northeastern part, their culture is different from the, from the tribal communities living in Odisha, Bihar or Gujarat or Maharashtra. So, um, every tribal communities, they have their own culture, folklore and cosmology. Similar, the economy is very much self-sufficient economy. They are mostly dependent on the forest. From there, they are able to get their own food. They are, they, they are able to get their own medicine. So, uh, even uh, due, um, selling the agricultural produce, they are also able to have their um, uh, sustenance, they are able to have their uh, everyday uh, earning life, life support system. So, in that way, a tribal economy uh, was much more self-sufficient self economy than other kind of communities. Um, due to modernity, uh, due to various um, acts by the government of India and also due to various uh, 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 encroachment of the forest areas by the um, uh, outsider, those who are non-tribes, some they are eco, their uh, economic uh, dependency has uh, been changed, but earlier uh, their tribal economy is more reverse, it is self-sufficient economy. 
Similarly, family and kinship ties is also very much strong, stronger in case of tribal society and uh, uh, they, they believe in their own uh, family and kinship ties. And uh, if you talk about the nature of worship, they mostly uh, uh, worship ancestors and nature worship. If you we'll go to various um, tribal societies, you'll find that mostly they uh, worship their ancestors and uh, either uh, and also they do the nature worship. And if we talk about ethnic identity, the tribal society have a strong ethnic identity and um, they, uh, they, uh, they have a, um, more ethnic ties among themselves. So therefore, you will, might have seen that uh, there are social, various social movements have happened in the India where uh, tribal communities have come for protest that uh, for, their, uh, for their separate identity, for their separate state. So therefore, you might have seen that the state like Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, they have emerged out of this strong ethnic identity, emergence of Jharkhand state. Many tribal communities come into uh, protest, they come into uh, negotiation with the country that they should have a separate state because they have a st uh, different kind of ethnic identity. So strong ethnic identity is mostly found in the tribal society. Now let us discuss how uh, scheduled tribes have been mentioned in different census. If we talk about 901 census, uh, scheduled tribes were defined as the people who practiced animism. And uh, in 1921 census, uh, scheduled tribes were defined as the people, those who, were, those who are living in the hill and forest tribes. And in 1951 census, they, these people were classified as scheduled tribes and from and that point of time, um, uh, the, the nomenclature have been mentioned in this constitution that is called scheduled tribes. Let us understand how uh, the uh, tribal communities are distributed in different parts of the country. As per census 2011, the population of scheduled tribes in the country is 10.45 crore and they constitute 8.6 percent of the country's to total population. But if we talk about total rural population, they are, they are 11.3 percent of the total rural population. And if we talk about uh, scheduled tribes male, uh, they are 5.25 crore and if we talk about scheduled tribes female, they are 5.2 crore. Uh, we can discuss now how uh, the different uh, scheduled tribes have their uh, shelter in different states. If we talk about the share of population to the total population of the state, Lakhyadip has 94.8 percent, while Mizoram has 94.4 percent of the total population are tribes. Similar, Nagaland has 86.5 percent, and Meghalaya has 86.1 percent, and Ladakh has 79.5 percent. And if we talk about bottom five states in uh, with uh, relation to their proportion population to, to total to total population, Uttar Pradesh has 0.6 percent, while Tamil Nadu has 1.1 percent, Bihar has 1.3 percent, and Kerala has 1.5 percent, Uttarakhand has 2.2.9 percent. Um, we can also dis uh, discuss as I told you, uh, you will find lot of diversities even in the, among the tribes. So there are um, 461 tribal communities as per 2001 census. So uh, as per the composition, they have been divided into uh, many uh, tribes like those who have been uh, northeast, Sikkim and Himalayas, uh, the tribes are Naga, Kuki, Mijo, Adi, Lepcha, Bhutia, Khasi, Garo, Jayanti, etc. And those who belong to western, uh, western uh, region of tribal communities, they are Bhel, Mina, Seheria, Girisa, Rebari, Dang, Warli. They are mostly found in the state like uh, Rajasthan, Gujarat, Maharashtra. Uh, similarly, if you talk about central region, they are uh, the Munda, Orang, Santal, Gond, Ho, Kunt, Chenchu, Saura. Mostly these states are like Bihar, Odisha, uh, Jharkhand, um, West Bengal, they belong to central part of uh, central region of tribal communities. And when we talk about southern region, they are Irula, Toda, Badaga, Palian, and so they, they are mostly belong to the states like uh, uh, Andhra Pradesh. Uh, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, so the, uh, these are southern states and if we talk about island communities, they are Jarwa, Onge, Great Andapanese, 
so pain recovery so they belong to so well, there are so linguistic classification among tribes in india are, um, there are many uh, the, the tribes have their own language system as i told earlier like so they have they are divided into four uh, tribal um, language community one is austroasiatic tibeto chinese dravidian and indo european um the language like language come like khasi nicobari santal ho mundar they belong to austroasiatic uh, communities while bhutia lepcha abor garo lusai miri they belong to the tibeto chinese communities and like korwa badaga toda kota gondi orang the belong to dravidian communities and hajung and bhil belongs to the indo european communities even some of the uh, language like santali they are in the uh, scheduled languages of the india so even some of the tribes uh, even if you uh, look at the ups examination in some of the tribes even they have the right they can also write the answer in that language but now we'll discuss about what are, what are the tribal uh, problems faced by different communities and that mostly these are common in many parts of the country whether they the tribes are in the northeastern parts or in odisha or west bengal or bihar but the tribes uh, face such kind of issues in their own areas like the issues of land alienation indebtedness bonded labor shifting cultivation literacy health and nutrition problems no doubt there are uh, many uh, government schemes and programs that have happened and it has also helped in the development of their communities both socially and economically but still there are many tribes they they face such kind of issues we'll discuss this one by one and uh, health and nutrition is the major uh, issue uh, faced by the tribal communities if you look at the statistics you'll find there are uh, there is huge gap between uh, non tribes and tribes uh, infant mortality rate is the um, uh, is the major indicator of health and nutrition when you talk about health status so if you take infant mortality rate it is 40.7 in case of um, general group population it, but it is 44.8 in case of scheduled tribes similarly in under 5 mortality rate also it is 49.7 in case of other communities but it is 57.2 in case of scheduled tribes so there is a gap of around 10% between scheduled tribes and general group of population a uh, similarly you will find uh, uh, anemia is also a major issue among um, where uh, the lack of blood is um, so it is 53 53 in case of uh, non uh, non tribal communities but it is 59.8 in case of scheduled tribes so there is also a gap between tribes and non tribes why it is happened because uh, poverty is a major issue because they don't have adequate income so they are not able to provide uh, medical care at the pro- uh, proper point of time when they actually when they need medical care they don't have the money and because they don't have the money so they are not able to go to the medical so medical facilities are available in the tribal areas but it it happened that the tribal uh, the doctors and nurses the medical staff they do they don't want to go to the tribal areas they mostly they uh, settle in the urban areas so therefore if if we uh, look at the uh, kind of uh, doctors per thousand population in the tribal area and in urban area will find a lot of gap because most of the doctors or medical staff they want to Uh, want to do their job in the urban areas and even they they posted in the rural area, uh, rural or medic uh, tribal areas but they don't go to the tribal areas so therefore the uh, kind of uh, problem faced by the tribes because they they be the road they don't have the adequate money so they are not able to go to the urban areas for their medical treatment similarly lack of proper medical and sanitary facilities also found uh, in the tribal areas because they are not educated in a proper manner how to take care of them so so that is a major issue uh, among the tribes similarly practice of indigenous medicine not given importance if you uh, look at the um, five five decades back you'll find lot of the tribes they know the traditional medicine system and they are able to use it and through that they are able to take care of their own medical issues but due to modernity due to modern modernization and uh, the uh the the now tribal generation they are not they are not giving importance to the indigenous medicine traditional medicine so because they are giving uh, mo- utmost utmost importance to the but modern medical system but they don't have that much money 
So therefore, practice having undermined the practices of indigenous medicine was the major issue of health and nutrition problem among the tribes. Similarly, industrial pollution is another issue uh, that, that affect the tribes because you know most of the uh, industries are being set up in the tribal areas and uh, because uh, these are set up in the tribal areas and there, is, and there is no one to monitor what kind of pollution generated by the industries. So, we will find most of the uh, uh, industrial stream, um, water stream that also get affected. When the water stream get affected by the industry and uh, these tribes use these, in, in these uh, water stream, so, um, so, they, so they get affected by both in the, uh, air pollution and also water pollution and therefore, they get they are not able to get proper medical care. So, the problem of health and nutrition is majorly found in the tribal communities. Now, let us discuss what is literacy and education status among our tribes. You look at uh, the uh, literacy gap between tribes and non-tribes, it is much more prevalent. And there is a gap of around 19.1 percent between scheduled tribe male and scheduled tribe female in the literacy rate. If we look at the 2001 census, it was 64.8 in case of general group population, while well, it is only 47.1 percent in case of scheduled tribes. So, there is a gap of around 17 percent. No doubt, there was so much uh, 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 educational programs like Sarvasik Abhijan, Rastri Madhyam Sikh Abhijan, also Midday Meal Scheme, which has really helped in the tribal literacy and education. But still, if we look at uh, the situation now, it is also very uh, poor in case of education in, if we compare between tribes and non-tribes. Because the kind of language they, uh, the tribes have that is not given adequate importance in the curriculum, but thankfully we have a national education policy 2020 in which there was so much emphasis on the mother tongue and hopefully by introduction of uh, mother tongue based education, uh, the tribal literacy will also increase. But there are also other issues in the tribal areas where the uh, because of which the tribal children are not able to get adequate education because they do not have adequate money so that they can send their child to school. Similarly, uh, they are mostly dependent on the child to have some, some kind of earning so that their family and livelihood also continue. And uh, child labor also you will find most of the cases of child labor in the tribal areas because there is no one to. Uh, see the law and other situations and secondly the, they do not have adequate income, so the, they mostly prefer their child to go to school. And third thing is that most of the teachers those who are appointed in the tribal areas neither they know the tribal language nor they uh, even they get appointment they also rarely go to the government uh, tribal uh, school in the tribal areas. So, that is the major reason for which the tribal literacy and education is got affected and um, but no doubt we have so much program like Kasturba Gandhi Balike Vidyale and uh, there are many schemes and programs that is running in the different parts of the country that help the education of tribes, but still the education tribes is still very low if we we'll compare between tribes and non-tribes. And unless the tribal literacy and education grow, we cannot have sustainable development goal because the tribes they face major issues in case of poverty, in case of livelihood, in case of indebtedness. So, the literacy and education has to be given much more importance so that they their socio-economic status get developed and they also contribute to the nation's income. And similar poverty is also a major issue found among the tribes as per the estimation scheduled tribe people living in the below poverty line in 2011 and 12 where 45.3 percent in the rural areas and 24.1 percent in the urban areas as compared to 25.7 percent rural areas and 13.7 percent in the urban areas. So, we can find the kind of uh, poverty is much more uh, ramp rampart in case of tribal areas. Uh, poverty and education related to each other unless you have the adequate education you cannot get the employment, unless you have the adequate employment you can you can uh, you can you cannot have more income. So, therefore, Poverty, education and employment are related to each other. So, therefore, education has to be given much more importance like, uh, like we are giving to the uh, other sectors. Therefore, poverty uh, is major uh, problem in the tribal areas. So, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.